you doing, everyone? Welcome to this episode of the Cajun Conservative Show. I'm your host, Isaac Hayes, talking about life, talking about liberty. And yes, I'm talking about the pursuit of happiness. And I'm here to show you the world that us Cajuns do have intelligence. Hope you're having a good day, good week, wherever you're located. Today is January 16th of 2024. It was starting 2024 off with a bang in the Republican Party. We're going to be talking about that a little while. Just remember that this is the day that the Lord has made. You should rejoice and you should be glad in it. Uh, kind of cold here uh, this January day of in Louisiana. In Louisiana, we uh, we had a frost. I woke up this morning to 17 degree weather, and uh, I went ahead and tried to walk the dogs. And uh, the dogs uh, went outside for a brief minute. And uh, when I got back into the living room uh, after releasing them to go outside, do their business, uh, they were right back at the door. And look, we know that the weather is 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 cold all over the United States right now. And I'm, I'm planning on doing an episode about the weather and how the left uses that to push their climate agenda. Uh, but that won't be this episode. So that, you're getting a sneak peek. And I'm gonna be honest with you, uh, my friends. Um, this uh, doing this episode every day or doing episode every day, I, I'm you know I'm thinking of clever ways to make a video or make a a podcast. So um, or coming up with unique uh, topics, and this is a new challenge for me. I'm not doing an hour long segment, and it, a lot of the big stories that just bring out throughout the day. And I'm just, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. Thank you for uh, always supporting me. I had a listener reach out to me and y'all know this listener. If you listen to his show, Mr. Scott Ford from the Scott Ford show uh, told me, Hey, look, I'm, I'm with you through thick and thin, man. And I, I appreciate it. There's a lot of listeners like Mr. Scott Ford um, that, that are, that are with me to uh, they, they've been with me from the beginning or they've, they jumped on, a little after I started, and uh, I want to appreciate every longtime listener and faithful listener of the show. Uh, if this is your first time listening, please remember to hit the subscribe button or the follow button. It helps me out more than you know. Uh, let's start off with uh, the big story, which it has to be the Iowa caucus. And so, so last night, Donald Trump, in dramatic fashion, won the Iowa caucus. I mean, in dramatic fashion that he, um, he just went ahead and, and obliterated everybody else. Um, there, the way that it is looking, um, Donald Trump took 98 of the 99 counties in Iowa. And the only County he lost to was Johnson County. And he only lost that by a total of one vote. The votes came in from Johnson County and former uh, South Carolina governor, Nikki Haley won that County 1,271 votes to Donald Trump's 1,270 votes. Now, how many of those were Democrats that turned Republican? Cause in, um, in the state of Iowa, on caucus day, if you're a Democrat and you show up and you want to vote, you just have to change your party for that one day. And Johnson, uh, um, Vivek and Haley were encouraging people. And also the media was encouraging people. Uh, if you look at it as well, there was supposed to be a Democrat caucus as well, where Democrats can go vote, but the Democrats, they, they changed the rules as always to benefit them. And, they didn't have a caucus. Now, this leads up to a, a, a point I want to hurry up and make right here. It's kind of funny how the Democrats are always saying, hey, um, you know, we're, stand, we're, the, we're the party that's standing up for democracy. We're the party that, 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 that loves America. We're the party that's protecting your freedoms and your right to vote. But majority of their primaries and their caucus that they had in Iowa are canceled. They're just giving that state to... President Joe Biden. So don't the minorities have a right to choose who they want to run for the Democrat party? Think about it. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just throwing that out there to you, the audience. Why is it okay for the Democrats to cancel their caucus and not allow people to vote? 
But when when the Republicans want to change the rules or ask for voter ID, it becomes an issue. Oh, you're oppressing the American voices. You're not even having a caucus. You, 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 you're not even having a, you're not having no way, you, there's no way for the Democrat people to vote. I'm just, I'm just throwing that out there. If you're a leftist and you, the left and the Democrats protect your right to vote. Really? Well, what about, um, what about last night? You should have held a Iowa caucus. Now they might be doing it later on. I don't know, but I'm just saying, it's funny how the Democrats can oppress the will of the people and then go back and accuse the Republicans and nobody remembers. That's just a point I want to throw out there. But anyway, again, um, a lot the media and the left was pushing for Democrats to go change their vote. They wanted you. They wanted to go. They wanted people to go change their vote and vote for either Vivek or Haley. That, that that's a, that's a that's a whole issue in itself right there as well. When you have Democrats pushing people to go vote for two candidates, that's a problem. I like Vivek. I think Vivek has some good points. He holds up the media very well. But there's an issue with the Democrats pushing Vivek. There's also an issue with, um, and I say pushing. He, I think he brought that out. Look, y'all young voters, if you Democrats gonna vote for me, I'm for y'all. Haley's the same way. Now, look, don't get me wrong. I, if I'm running for a political um, position, I don't care who's voting if they vote for me. All right, they could be Democrat, they could be Republican, they could be the dog down the road. I don't care. And, uh, and look, that was the only way Haley could ever come out of this primary or this caucus in Iowa is if she had the help of big donors, which she did. She had more money than everybody else. And she, um, and by switch votes, because even in the county, she won by one vote. There was one Democrat or one leftist person that didn't show up. Now let's go, let's go back to the impressive win that Donald Trump did. Again, 98 counties out of 99. That is impressive. I think this is one of the biggest wins of any Republican in the state of Iowa. Donald Trump's going to hold that title as uh, he won the state by landslide. He, um, I think he had over 50% of the votes. If you look at the numbers, Ron DeSantis came in second. He had 21% of the vote. And I think Nikki Haley finished out with 15. Vivek, last time I looked, and they didn't show, uh, they didn't show it on this article, but Vivek, last time I looked, had 7% percent or eight percent of the vote uh not not good for the other candidates and now with now and what with this impressive win you would think this would be the highlight of the day a republican candidate taking 98 out of the 99 counties you would think that's the big story of the day but it's not you know what the big story of the day is that nikki haley and Ron DeSantis are still saying they're in the race. It, even to a point where Nikki Haley only got 15% of the vote in Iowa. It's pushing her narrative that this is a two-person race against Donald Trump and herself. How can you say that? Look, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm, look, think about this. Beautiful Cajun conservative family. She finished third. Ron DeSantis finished second. And that's a victory for them. She, she's saying, look, I, I've gained ground. This just shows that it's a two-person race between me and Donald Trump. No, it's, no, it's not. No, it's not. And look, I had people call me yesterday. I had people text me yesterday, and they were like, Isaac, do you think Donald Trump's going to win Iowa? I don't know. We're gonna, I, 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 my answer was the same. I don't know. Let's see what, what happens in the caucus. Even one person that is a dear friend of mine said, Donald Trump is not that popular. Donald Trump's going to lose Iowa. Donald Trump is that popular. People like Donald Trump. But the indictments, the, it don't matter. They like Donald Trump. DeSantis and Haley did not have a chance. When they called that, that race, and I was watching 
Well, I was in the middle of recording Brothers Just Searching. We had the news on. And when the reports came out that Donald Trump won five minutes after the polls closed, it's a done deal. He has 70% jumping off the bat. You had you had Fox News, and that's what I was watching Fox, was were going around Iowa. And they were they were talking to people. And, and, and P, that, that was the first words out of their mouth was that Donald Trump was their candidate. But you have Nikki Haley and look, even Ron DeSantis. I, I'm a big Ron DeSantis supporter. I love Ron DeSantis. I think he would make an excellent president. But even Ron DeSantis is counting as a victor that he ended out in number two. He only had 21% of the vote. But that's a victory. That's a victory to these people. Look, and Ron DeSantis, by, by far, did the most work out of any candidate in Iowa. He covered all 99 counties. He didn't win one county. He probably came in second in a lot of these, same as Haley. But just going back to the point, in Johnson County, Haley only won that by one vote. If they ever go into a recount and realize, hey, we found someone that voted for Trump, it's a tie, virtual tie. You can't tell me that this is bigger than Donald Trump winning 98 out of 99 counties. That, 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 that Nikki Haley and Ron DeSantis, their battle for second. And look, I, I seen this last night watching Fox. Fox News did cover the, the, the impressive win of Donald Trump. But they focused more on who was going to end up as number two. Who was going to end up as number two? Who was going to be the 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 the, the, the runner up? I never seen anything like this. And like I said, look, my dad even told me this this morning. He's watching the news, and that is the biggest story that Nikki Haley and Ron DeSantis battled out so hard, and Ron DeSantis came in second place. I I just don't. Uh, me personally, if I was a candidate, and I came in second, and I lost. By 30 percentage points, I, I would be embarrassed. I would be embarrassed. Look, I don't, I'm not asking anybody. The only one that I think should drop out at this point because he don't he don't have a chance now is Vivek. And look, this goes back to Vivek having an issue with a photo. They had some people that had um something with Trump on their their sleeve while they took a picture with him in a jacket and it went out. Trump attacks them. That was done. V Vivek's done. I already said this. Vivek is probably fighting for probably a, he said he isn't, but he's probably vote, he's probably fighting for a vice president position. That's how I see it. I see I don't see Vivek pushing for anything else. Uh, Nikki Haley. A lot of people think Trump should put her back in the cabinet if she drops out. Uh, the only ones that have a shot right now is probably DeSantis and Nikki Haley. I, I, look, everybody else should drop out. If, I, I don't even know if Asa Hutchinson is in there. I haven't heard anything. But you know, and even Chris Christie had, had you know, he, he went on this anti-Trump campaign. And he, he even had enough sense to say, I'm going to drop out before the Iowa caucus. Because if you think Vivek only had 7%, Christie, what Christie have gotten... Some percentage points, probably. It would have helped Trump win all 99 counties because he endorsed Nikki Haley. And you know, some people that went vote for, for that was going to vote for Chris Christie went vote for Nikki Haley. I'm just, I, at the end of the day, I, this is an impressive win on Donald Trump's part. part and it's being, the, the, the coverage isn't that Donald Trump is still popular, even with the indictments. No, it's that Ron DeSantis came in second and Nikki Haley saying that it's still a two-person race. Now, we have New Hampshire coming up, and then you have North Carolina, uh, South Carolina, and I believe it's Super Tuesday. And and you you, you, you we're going to know a lot more going through, but going forward. But I'm going to say this right here, and this is me predicting, and this is easy to predict. I think anybody that covers somewhat of politics can make a prediction right now about this race is that Donald Trump's going to be the nominee. I, I've already said, look, I'm and look, this is coming from a Ron DeSantis supporter, but sometimes you have to call balls and strikes. If I was Ron DeSantis and Nikki Haley and Vivek, I would step aside 
and say, look, Donald Trump is way too popular to beat. Donald Trump, look, it, it, Donald Trump supporters, and look, I'm one of them. I, I'm not a, I'm not a, Donald Trump is not my number one candidate, but I do support Donald Trump, and I see what the media is doing to him. I see what uh, Donald, uh, I'm saying everybody else except his name, uh, Joe Biden's doing to Donald Trump through the, uh, the, uh, the justice system. I see what the Democrats are trying to do. This is all political. I see all that. I see that Donald Trump is being politically persecuted because he did something no other president has done, and he was draining the swamp. He wasn't doing it fast enough, to, according to people like Vivek. But guess what? He was doing. He he changed. He fundamentally changed this country for the better. And because of it, the Democrat Party wants to persecute him. People on the left, and even some ignorant, stupid Republicans. That I'm a never Trumper. You can't lie. Donald Trump changed this country. Now, you can have your belief on January 6th. You can, be lie, you can have your belief on if he's guilty or not. You can have all that. But people in America are seeing this, and they're backing Donald Trump. That is, that, look, that is Donald Trump's fuel right now is these indictments. These, these indictments on Donald Trump are the, is the fuel that he has. To continue this race because people see what the left is doing and what the media is doing and they're saying you know what we're tired of this and we're gonna go ahead and back donald trump ron DeSantis and nikki haley yes they have money and they have the they have the records to show that they can run for president and possibly do a good job but they don't have nothing like that and look, this is what i said i think the left is is ignorant and stupid on this part if they just left Donald Trump alone, if they would have said, look, we're not going to prosecute Donald Trump. We're not. Look, it was wrong what he did on January 6th, but we're, we're going to, you know what? We think we don't think he was part of that or whatever. They, 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 they could have said anything. The left could have said whatever they wanted and left Donald Trump alone. Donald Trump would would have been battling for president a lot more than what he's doing. This man don't even show up to a debate and he's winning the debates without even showing up. Think about it. Every debate, every debate that, that has happened, people ask, well, who, who do you think won that debate? And everybody said Donald Trump. Donald Trump didn't show up, and these people are battling out one another, and Donald Trump's sitting in the corner, and he's, he's, he's taking the victory lap. Every debate has helped Donald Trump, and he wasn't even there. Because people are tired of the left and the media and their propaganda schemes to make Donald Trump that he's a bad person. This is why Donald Trump won Iowa. This is why Donald Trump won Iowa in a landslide fashion, in a dramatic fashion. Now, this is 99 counties, and he won 98 of them. I mean, he, and look, I think that's the biggest story, too. Nikki Haley can go, I won one county by one vote. And then you have to go look, all right, how many of them were Democrats? How many of them were independents? Were, were these Republicans that were really voting? Because if you go on that note, you can basically see Donald Trump won Johnson County. Because if, if it was, in, if, if, if you had Democrats in there that were, that, that, that registered Republican, this is, there's a whole different story. I just, I, it just amazes me. Donald Trump wins in dramatic fashion and the media is ignoring it and are focusing on Nikki Haley and Ron DeSantis. And look, like I said, look, the only one that I, I can see that should drop out is Vivek. I think Vivek should say, look, I, 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 I brought up a lot of key issues. I think we need to do something better, but it's not my time. I think Vivek will be a force to reckon with later on. But I just, to be honest with you, audience, I just, I see that, I see Vivek should go. And like I said, I like Vivek. And look, I did a whole video on Vivek with, on, on the debates. He did a great job. He stood up to Nikki Haley. He did, he, 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 he exposed Nikki Haley on a lot of things. But it's not his time. Um, 
now before I wrap up this podcast episode going forward it New Hampshire is going to be the same way I don't think it's going to be I don't know if it's going to be in a dramatic fashion like Donald Trump did in Iowa but I think New Hampshire is going to go to Trump because the polls have him up there and look I don't believe polls but if if New Hampshire is going to be like Iowa people want Donald Trump back and it, this this is where it's going to come to the point where the arguments are taking place. Oh, who's going to come second in New Hampshire? I don't care who comes in second in New Hampshire. Second place does not become president. Okay. And this is what the, look. This is all. This is what all the media is talking about. The second place finish in in Iowa. I don't care who came in second place. Who came in first? Yeah, but Isaac, you don't realize in New Hampshire, if Donald Trump takes first place and that second place, it's going to be close. I don't care who comes in second place. If Donald Trump wins again by 30 percentage points in New Hampshire, the dog catcher could have came in second. I don't care. And look, like I said, this is what the media is focusing on. Second place. I don't care who was in second place. I want to know who was in first. I don't, I don't care. And look, like I said, look, look, my guy won one second place last night. Great. I don't care. Ron DeSantis, if he was popular and he, if he, if he want, if he would, if he would have came in first place, that would have been impressive. If Nikki Haley would have came in first. I would have, this whole show would be different. We would have to come and talk about if people really did like Donald Trump and if he was popular and what are the polls are talking about, but we're not. We're talking about Donald Trump in dramatic fashion beating two people. Well, if you count Vivek, three people that all said we have a chance to win Iowa, and they didn't. They came in second, third, and fourth. And like I said, Vivek, Vivek didn't even break double digits. Nikki Haley and Ron DeSantis, hey, stay in the race. If you want to spend that money, hey, go ahead and do it. But Donald Trump won in dramatic fashion. And you, you can't hide that, but the media is trying to. Because see, if they, if they report on it, it makes Donald Trump look good. And you can't make Donald Trump look good to the left-wing media. With that being said, that's going to wrap up this episode of the Cajun Conservative Show. Once again, thank you, as always, for following the show. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the follow button. I want to thank all my affiliate marketers that are in the bottom of the description. Also, thank truck, uh, Smith Truck and Equipment Sales um, here in Louisiana. Please go check out their website at the bottom of the, uh, the description. And until next time, be blessed, be encouraged. Remember, Jesus Christ is king. He's coming back, and he's coming back soon, so don't be fate of heart. Jesus has overcome the world. If you want to know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, reach out to me. I'll tell you how to make Jesus your Savior and heaven your home. Until next time, my friends, you be blessed, you be encouraged, you have a good one.